Hi, everyone, and good evening. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, Kalani ma'am and Mayur sir and the whole K11 team to give me this uh, opportunity to you know, speak on this platform today. 20 years, uh, it's a big number. Uh, many of us are probably 80% of our age is just 20 years. So uh, for many of us, it's new. Dear classmates, it's our school, right? So dear classmates, teachers, and all well-wishers of K11. Today, uh, I want to share three stories with you. Just three stories, that's it. The first story is about uh, the start of my career. So I believe, uh, there is a belief that I have that is the thoughts that you hold at the beginning of the journey, they define the journey. And at the start of my journey, uh, when I was not a fitness professional, I was just in the first year of my engineering. Uh, at that time, the first lesson that I got as a fitness professional, I actually got from none other than but the pioneer of the Indian fitness industry, which is Kezad sir's godfather, uh, Karvarkar sir. This was in 2012, and uh, my mother, who is also a K11 certified trainer, she had started a gym uh, in Pune, and this gym was inaugurated by Tarvalkar sir. And just like uh, Kalani ma'am mentioned just now, that, uh, you know, Tarvalkar sir always would come on time. So the gym inauguration was set up at 7 p.m. and sir came sharp at 6.55, five minutes before time. And uh, on arriving uh, in the gym, there was a reception area, there was a big step, and if you cross the step, there was the reception area, and in the reception area, there was no uh, rubber flooring. It was just tiles, only tiles. And uh, sir started removing his shoes. The worker sir started removing his shoes. And that's where me and my mother insisted, Ki, sir, uh, why are you removing the shoes uh, while entering this area? You can just step in the gym, uh, no problem. And uh, at that time, he turned around and said, and he said in Marathi, which is, Are, Omkar hai fakta jim nahi hai, he deul hai. Ani hi karma bhoomi apli. Meaning that this is not just a gym, but uh, it is a temple. And that day I learned a lot about our profession, that it is a noble profession, it is a sacred profession, and it is full of respect and morals. And uh, then, uh, because I was doing engineering, I asked him, what do I do next in this career? So he actually suggested me to check K11. And that's when I went to K11 and uh, Mayur sir was there for the first very lecture. And uh, from that day, I learned a big deal about fitness. And of course, this belief that I had of fitness being a very noble profession that continued. The second story uh, I would like to share is uh, the story about my tipping point in the career or a turning point in the career. And this was, I mean, the turning point and I have many classmates here from the same course, which was the prestigious master trainers course, uh, which was taught by Kezad sir and Mayur sir. And uh, you know, some people ask me, even they ask me even now, that uh, ye master trainers course mein kya uh, Do they teach new exercises? What do they exactly teach? Uh, is there anything new that you get, get to learn other than what they teach in the personal trainers course? And the answer is no. Uh, in fact, uh, in master trainers course, the, I mean, our teacher, he taught us fitness science, and along with fitness science, he also taught us life. He actually gave the biggest life lessons in this course. And as the course progressed, my career started growing too. And uh, you all know what happens when the career starts growing, right? Uh, distractions come in the way. And social media came in as one such distraction. It is actually an illusion which sometimes makes you forget what you really stand for. And uh, you know, when I got trapped by this distraction, Kaizad sir took notice. Our guru, our teacher, he took notice. Like a true teacher who always corrects his students, uh, if the student is going wrong, uh, he started DMing me, messaging me, emailing me. And I know many people over here today, right now, who has got, a, I mean, who have got a lot of DMs, emails, messages from sir saying that, hey, you know what, this is not right or, you know, whatever you're doing is not right and this is the right way. And we are truly lucky, all those who have got these corrections from sir, we are truly lucky because, uh, you know, that is the right path that he showed. And he mentioned, uh, in one of the messages, he mentioned a movie named The Walk. Now in this movie, uh, there is a guy, his name is Philip Pettit, and he walks on, the, on a rope which is tied 
on Twin Towers on the World Trade Center. The height is uh, some 1,312 feet high and he's walking on a rope. And this was the movie which he had shown in the Master Trainer's course also. And uh, when Sir saw me slipping and getting distracted because of social media or whatever, he sent this message to me and I would really like to read out this message to all of you. He writes, uh, Omkar, as you achieve more and more success, it becomes difficult in a proportionate manner to teach the unadulterated truth. As you achieve a greater stature, it requires greater strength and courage to stay true. Be aware of this in the times to come because I know you will achieve great success. That, in my opinion, is almost a certainty. Speaking the absolutely unadulterated truth is like walking a tightrope. Always difficult, though the courage needed to walk the rope a foot off the ground, which is just one feet from the ground, it cannot be compared to the heights or to the courage one needs as one scales the heights of success and then has to walk the rope thousands of feet above the ground. Remember the scene from the movie Walk? He writes that. I trust you, Omkar, and hence I am taking up that responsibility of letting you know that if you ever slip, I will be the one who will tell you. And all of this is because you are a student of K11. And I'm sure that Sir had this feeling for all the students for K11, all of us who are sitting here. And the third story, which is the, I'll finish it quickly. The third story is about the growth and the road ahead. Uh, you know, what is amazing about our school is that whatever principles, morals, ethics, uh, which sir and ma'am and Mayur sir and everyone, all the lecturers here, all the master trainers here, whatever were built, uh, they are not just being sustained, but they are actually thriving. They are on a new level now. And uh, Kalyani ma'am and Mayur sir are always there as a guiding light. Because when we expand our teams, uh, I'm an entrepreneur now, so when we expand our teams, uh, we really need people who are excelling and uh, people who are at the, I mean, when it comes to quality, knowledge and its application, they're at the best. And undoubtedly, that is something that we only find at K11. I mean, even if a person is breathing the right way in the gym while performing exercise, you can spot that person from across the gym and know that this person is either trained by a K11 certified trainer or is a K11 certified trainer himself. And, uh, you know, as uh, Amjad mentioned that uh, for K11, it is not that they need us. It is, to be honest, it is we need K11 to continue this legacy that is that has been constructed in the fitness industry and it will go further. In the end, I would just like to take this opportunity to send a like a clarion call to all K11 students uh, and to all my classmates and everyone who is associated with K11. So this is a call which I would like to, I, I would like to make this statement that, you know, our school is the reason why we are successful, truly. Our school is the reason why, uh, you know, we earn our butter. I mean, I'm not saying bread and butter, <laughs> we earn our butter. And, uh, you know, we can transform the lives of our members by making them fit and strong and by actually touching their lives. You know, uh, there are people from my team here uh, who are less than 30 years of age, uh, just 27, 28 years old. They have bought a, they have bought a house. Uh, there are people who have bought their first superbike. Uh, there are people who I know from the industry who are doing so well, uh, you know, friends of mine. And this is all credit to K11 and the school and the teaching that they gave us. And uh, you know, there would be many distractions which, which would come. Uh, I think someone also mentioned that what would happen further. There are all of these weaknesses which come in the mind, these thoughts which come in the mind. And whenever such thoughts come, uh, this goes to all, whenever such thoughts of weaknesses come, uh, it is time to remember what Kaizad sir said. And that is, uh, you are always stronger than you think you are. Thank you.